Hey guys, we are back at the Los Angeles Zoo. And if you're wondering what's it like on the weekends, well, we're about to show you and to see if any updates are happening at the LA Zoo. Oh, it's busy. Look at the parking lot. Busy, 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 busy. Now our first stop is the Children's Zoo, which is uh, to your right, right after the Bank of America ATM. And we're gonna see if anything has changed since the last time we were here. Absolutely nothing has changed. Still dry as a bone. Tiger? tiger was never here. It would be Let's able to jump over. <laughs> go, go, go. Whee. What even is it? It's an American badger. It's an American badger. Daddy, you know what I did? Hello. Daddy? Yeah. No, I clapped my hands. Yeah, don't do that. They get scared. Ow. Ah. The only animal over here besides the goats in the petting zoo is the American badger. Only one. <laughs> still closed. The ranch is still closed. Last time it was open, oh, there's a worker, zookeeper. It was last year, June. They opened it that day. And uh, I don't think it's been open since. <laughs> they reclosed it. Look at the goats. Hello, goat. All right, our first stop is the lair. We've been here before, Noah and I. But Michelle and Lydia have not. Michelle specifically said, don't show her the spiders. She's okay, she's okay with snakes, but no spiders. So I'm gonna take her to spiders. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm playing. We're, gonna go, we're gonna go see some frogs, some uh, snakes, and some turtles in the lair. Now for indoors, masks are recommended, but they're not required. Still COVID restrictions on some animals here at the zoo. Now there is some uh, updates for the Los Angeles Zoo, which I'm gonna tell you later on in the video. Well, they're cleaning with the snake inside. They're, my, they're insane. You see the, right there. Nope, I would not be in there. <laughs> A salamander. Snake. It is very hot in here. I was wondering what it says snake, but this is not a snake. But it looked on top. That's a snake, and that's a lizard. These are lizards, you guys. <laughs> it's just chilling on top. This is a Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. What is that, Noah? A lizard? I don't know what that is. It says a monitor? 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 A what? It's that. Oh, this is a sculpture. But that's what it is. Gray's monitor. That's what it is. It's huge. I don't think we saw this last time. Whew, it was hot inside that building. There was no AC. That was blowing hard. Michelle felt, felt claustrophobic in there. Very hot. I'm surprised it's not attacking the fish. I've never seen it move before. Usually when we're here, for me at least, they're always standing still. Oh, you see the turtle? Mommy can't see because she's in a wheelchair. <laughs> All right, it's break time, you guys. It was very hot in there, so make sure you bring water. We're not gonna show you every single animal. We've been here three times already, so we're gonna put the links to those videos down below. We're just gonna show you our favorite animals throughout the day. Now, if you want a snack throughout your day, this is the place to get it. The donut holes are delicious. Very, very highly recommend it. The kangaroo is finally on its feet. Every time we come to the zoo, it's always laying down in the shade. But finally, it's on his legs. That's pretty cool. It's a baby. One of the many babies that were born not that long ago. Yeah. We've only seen the wombat one time. So we're gonna check it out again. Just cause. Warning, wombats are most active at nighttime. So the wombat house has low lighting. Please give your eyes time to adjust. Are they open? It's right there by the fence. There's a mouse in there. You can see better through your phone. 
with your eyes, it's kind of hard to see. It's moving. Oh, that's a lot closer. Hey, they got that box from Amazon. Wombat. Looks like a pig. Doesn't look like a pig. All right, you guys, the first update for you is Zoo Friday Nights for 2023. They are back. Last year they had it, it was very popular, so they brought it back. It's gonna be for Friday nights only, starting July 7th through August 8th, from 6 to 9 p.m. Prices are 25 for adults, and prices are $20 from two to 17 years old. And if you're a member, it's $15 for all, child or adult. I can't wait, because it'll be our first time going, and we will be coming here Friday nights. Oh, also, there will be music on those Friday nights, which I'm curious. Is not going to be loud music or will it? Because I'm pretty sure animals are sensitive to music. So I don't know how that's going to work. But I am excited to come. And it's going to be a lot cooler because right now it's hot. And it's, one thing I love about the zoo is a lot of shade everywhere you go. Because we're in the hills against the mountain here. Nice. And this is a separate event from day tickets. So I'm guessing this is where the apes are at or gorillas are at. Look at Gorilla, he's just chilling, eating plants against the wall. There's another one in the foreground. It's a baby one over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. I think he saw something. I have a trivia question for you guys. Are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll tell you now. <laughs> they are. Ready for you guys? Ready? 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 <laughs> They're black with white stripes. Very confusing. I don't know how. I thought they'll be white with black stripes because on the bottom, they're white. Very white. On their belly. Look at the belly. Honestly, it looks like brown. <laughs> Four big horn sheep lambs were born this spring. So they're pretty big already. I'm not sure where they are at. So here's one of the babies. Oh, there's two right there. They're right here. There's one right there, another one right there. Hello, crow. You're big. You know crows have good memory. So if you throw something at them, they will remember you and attack you. So we are about to enter the Red Ape Rainforest. We love coming in here. They're pretty cool. I love them. Stone stories and symbols. Red Ape Rainforest is a site of numerous culture symbols from Southeast Asia. The entrance of the exhibit is guarded by protective statues from Bolognese culture. I'll zoom out a little bit if you want to read it. I'll take a picture of it. Boom. What are you doing, Lydia? We took you to the zoo and you're recording a roly poly. Where's the roly poly? We're both recording roly polies? <laughs> what? What happened? What's inside the box? What the heck? Is that alive? It's alive. I saw it move. What's in that box? It's like, leave me alone, people. You see it? Oh. <laughs> it barely fits. Yeah. Very odd. <laughs> yeah, they're just chilling. Look at the hands. It's our fingers. It's probably cool right there. Yeah, it's hot today. Now, the last time we were in here, they were very active. So I'm going to drop the video right now. Hello, big red ape. It's eating. It's going to go up higher. Wow. And these are, animals are amazing. We have a net on top of their heads. Now he likes to eat and pass it. Look at what was it doing with that paper? Yeah, it's at the limit of that net. He is high. <laughs> He's putting his hands outside. He's trying to escape. Where's the word? <laughs> <laughs> like hi. Look at his big feet. <laughs> and we're back to see the giraffes. There's 
two over there, two over here. And unfortunately, still no change for giraffe feeding. So we're hoping very soon that will open because we want to do that. I'll be very excited and I know Noah will. And also two other um, activities are still closed, which is the petting zoo and the theater, bird theater, which is still closed, which we've never been there. So fingers crossed it will open beginning of the next year or the end of this year. Now, what are they doing? They're eating oranges. Is it oranges? It looks like oranges. You see what they like the, Look at this guy. Oh, girl. No, it's a, a guy. Just <laughs> hanging around. There's three of them. This place, a lie. They don't have ices and little popsicles. We want a soft serve ice cream cone. They don't have it here. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the front a little bit. The mandrails. It smells real bad over here. <laughs> Is that a bell pepper? <laughs> Oi. Where's the baby? Oh, over there. Look at the baby. <laughs> Very tiny. Break time. If you don't, if you do not know, the LA Zoo has a lot of hills, and um, I suggest get an electric scooter, electric wheelchair. I keep saying scooter. It help a lot. <laughs> Another update for you guys. Brewfest is back for the 11th year here at the LA Zoo. 40 plus breweries, live music, Animal Keeper Talks, Pub Style Grub on Friday, August 25th, 7 to 11 p.m. for standard ticket holders, 6 p.m. for VIP, and early ticket entry holders, 21 plus only. And all this info I'm giving to you for the special events will be in the description down below, and I'll also put the link for them. And now for the most dreadful walk at the LA Zoo. Let me show you. Uphill in the wheelchair. That's why you should get an electric wheelchair. It's very steep. Oh, I'm tired. I see people. I have no idea. The best time to come to the zoo is right at opening. We're members, so we had a separate entry for us. It took about two seconds to get in here. Uh, advanced tickets are recommended to reserve your day. Usually if you don't have your tickets, you have to wait in a line. But if you have your tickets, there's several lines for you guys really quick. And this is the World of Birds Theater, you guys. I could hear them in the background. You can see the worker. Are they practicing? I see a bird flying. Ooh, this could be... I don't think so either. No, yep, yeah, that's not one. But anyways, I see worker back there. Why would a worker be back there? So maybe soon by the end of the year. I'm really hoping because we've never done this. Very exciting. So we have another break time. We're actually in the area where the jaguar lives, which is not right here. We can't see them. They're probably hiding in the hill up there in the gra tall grass area. But I'll drop a clip of it right now from the last time we were here when we saw the jaguar. We're looking at the Jaguars. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> is it a hairball? He is loud. <laughs> oh, heck no. You know they smell like cats, right? Yeah. Now, if you want to know where the Jaguar area is, from what the where we're the area we were coming through is right next to the, um, the theater. There's a rainforest of America. You go up that little hill to your left. Now the zoo is not only an area to see animals, but just enjoy the nature. They have beautiful areas here at the zoo, like this one right here. Shade and everything. I see all the Whoa, there are a lot of frogs here. Yellow is a blue is a little tiny red. Don't you want to keep them and pet them? Don't ya? Well, don't, because they're poisonous. They will, they, they will, you will die. Oh, <laughs> uh, these are poisonous? Yep, look at that. Golden poison frog. 
glass poison frog, that's the blue poison frog. They're all poisonous. From South America. Now it's Michelle's favorite animal here at the zoo. The otters. Oh look it! Dad, look at this one. Oh there's two. Look at this face. No, let me look at them. Oh, that's cute. Oh, the last time we were here, they were playing all over the place, running back and forth. I think he's dreaming. Yeah, nice dream. Look at his oh, teeth. His legs are freaking playing. That's funny. He's sleepy. Sleepy I would love like to jump a in this baby. Water right now. Can I the no, it did. Oh, it's gonna fall on it. Look, at it. it's moving. Now we're still in the area of the rainforest of America. This is a long path exhibit. Look at buddy. I still want a pet lizard for myself. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> this is the other entrance for rainforest of the Americans. You just take that path all the way to see the jaguar. Now into the theater. Now this right here. We'll zoom out a little quick. That little path where you just saw that kid fall <laughs> goes up to a cage where there's birds and swans. And we're back. There's only one out today. I'm not sure which area is the waterfall area. Probably that way. That was pretty funny. There, one of the elephants was just bobbing his head. It was pretty, pretty cool. Pretty funny too. bobbing his head. <laughs> they took out the benches. I wonder why. It'll be happening this summer at the LA Zoo, which is Roaring Nights, is back, which is going to be 80s theme, which is Friday, June 16th, and it's from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., 21 and over only. If you're not a member, it's 25 dollars a person if your member is twenty dollars so costumes are highly recommended for the 80s theme for roaring night june 16th i'm excited i'm trying to convince michelle to come i want to come as garth <laughs> and then she's gonna come as a 80s girl i'm not sure but maybe a valley girl i don't know we'll see <laughs> all right guys we had an amazing time at the la zoo we saw all the animals that we wanted to see almost we did we did see them last time so we put those videos down below if you have any questions that we didn't answer, we'll put them down below as well, or links to them like, is parking free? Yes, parking is free, for now at least. If you guys do enjoy this content, please like this video. We also do Disneyland, SeaWorld's coming up, we'll do more of those in the summer. Okay, it, is, it, it is a very long drive, it's about three hours for us. We do go to University Studios Hollywood, HHN content is coming up. Can't wait for that. If you guys not already, please subscribe, hit that bell that'll let you know our video is up. We are the Duke family. Bye.